Hello YouTube, thank you so much for watching my video. My name is Christabel and I just wanted to make a short video about coming out to my family as transgender. Now, like many other women of trans experience, I've, I've had a very complicated relationship with my family, with my mother especially. Now, intellectually, I, I've always known that I was loved, but this didn't translate into how I felt. Growing up, there was a lot of misunderstandings and there was a lot of neglect. And based on all of the experiences I'd had with my family, I, I developed a lot of resentment and I developed a lot of bitterness. I only felt like there was never an attempt to get to understand me or never an attempt to get to know me. Now, when I was born, my parents had desperately wanted to have a little boy. I come from an area in South Africa that's very, very traditional. And the custom is that a man needs to have a son as his heir, as his, um, you know, as a seer, basically. Now, when my parents did eventually have me, my mom felt an incredible sense of relief that she had been able to finally have a son and to finally um, get a little boy who would carry the family name on. So I was, I was born into a family where there were a lot of expectations as to who I could be and who I should be. And when I didn't fit that mold, there was a lot of disappointment. My dad ended up passing away when I was three years old. And my mom fell into a deep and dark depression. So after my dad died, most of my, most of my upbringing was, um, was done by the domestic workers. They're the ones who brought me up. And there was always this distance that I had from my mom. Now, because of the way I'd grown up, there were a lot of feelings of bitterness and resentment. The issue with that is when you want to move forward with your life and when you want to actually transition and become the woman you know you were meant to be, you can't have a new life if you're still holding on to the old life. Yes, a lot of things have happened, things that weren't fair. But sometimes as women of trans experience, we hold on to all of the past injustice and we almost wear it as, as an armor. And we say to people, oh, I've, I've been through so much if you only knew my story. The problem with that mentality is that if you're holding on to that story, it does not help you move on. It does not help you heal. Now, I knew before I transitioned, I needed to let my mom know. I needed to tell my mom that I was transgender. I needed to let her know what I was going to do. Now, this was really difficult for me because at the time I was still doing my first year of university and I was dependent on my mom financially. Um, she was the one putting me through school and there was just this anxiety and fear that she would disown me, she wouldn't want to talk to me. But I knew that I owed it to her at least to let her know what was going to happen before I even start. Look, it's difficult enough to accept what a person is saying when they tell you they want to have a sex change. When you actually see it in front of you happening, that's another shock. So I just wanted to fill my mom in. In our relationship, 
I always had to assume the, the role of the adult. I always had to um, take the high road. My mom can be quite a combative person. And I always felt that I wasn't safe in her space. I remember before I even told her, I prayed to God and I asked God, you know, God, you know I've had this relationship with my mom and you know what type of person she's been to me. Please help me. Please help me find the strength within myself to tell this woman. And I just remember God telling me that, you know, you don't have to be the adult in this situation. I'll be the adult in this situation. Just go with you to your mom with an open heart. And try and go without a sense of fear. The issue is if you go in with a sense of fear and anger, um, you, if fear and anger are your only compass, they will only lead you to more fear and anger. If bitterness is your compass, it will take you where more bitterness lies. So if I was going to heal and if I was going to let my parents know, or rather my mom know, I needed to just go in with an open heart. Understand and accept the fact that it would take her time to wrap her head around what was going on. So I go home, I go to the Eastern Cape. And I sat my mom down. I first wanted her to watch a documentary about transgender kids, and my laptop wasn't working for whatever reason. So I started telling her that, you know, remember when I was younger and I was so feminine and I only said I wanted to be a girl? Immediately my mom cut me off and said, yes, that's because you grew up with a lot of sisters. I said, no. She said, yes, it's because you didn't have a father. That's why you felt this way. I said, no. Mama, I've, I've always felt in my heart that I should have been born female. I started telling her what transgender was. And of course, she told me that, you know, you can be gay. You don't have to have surgery. But as I opened up and I allowed myself to be vulnerable and I didn't respond with anger. I saw a different side of my mom. She looked at me and she said, you know what, Denim, which means, you know what, my child. I don't want people to judge me, so I'm not going to judge you. And that was the first step. That was the very, very first step. And I know that if you're watching at home and you don't know how to begin, and you're scared of telling your parents, just start with that first step. Hold hope in your heart. Hold on to the belief that you will be understood. Hold on to the belief that you will find love. Trust me, there are enough of us in this world that want to love and support you on your journey. There is nothing wrong with you. And we are all here and we want to love and support you on your journey. Also, give your parents time. If it took you 18 to 20 years to accept the fact that you are gay or transgender, you can't expect them to just accept it in one second. It's a journey. It is a journey. Let go of your bitterness. Let go of your resentment. Let go of your justified resentment. Yes, you have every reason to be mad, but staying mad will not heal you. So, thank you for watching this video. I wish you only the best, sweetheart. Take care of yourself, be brave, and you're on the right journey. Bye.